and we are live hi guys hope you are all doing well welcome back to episode two of connect to inspire show in this episode is going to be amazing yes um the name of this episode is um blossoming your business with sarah el fas also if you've tuned in to last week's episode, let, uh, leave a smiley face in the comments so that I know that you are a returning viewer. So, Instagram is an amazing place for like-minded people to come together. And that's what we do with this show. We connect so we can learn from each other and inspire each other to take action. And without further ado, let's dive into this episode with Sarah El Fas. And Sarah is an entrepreneur, she's a business coach, she's a mentor, and she is an author. And I can't wait for you to learn all about her and learn from her. Let's dive right in. And we're going live now. Hopefully it all works. It's always nerve-wracking, isn't it? <laughs> Hello! Hey! Hi! I just... Hi, Veronica. How's... Hi. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. I can see you. It's all going perfect. great so far. <laughs> Yay! So perfect. Fantastic. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly uh, leave a comment and pin it. Leave the name of the episode. For people who are tuning in a little bit later. That sounds perfect. Blossoming your business. Great. And I'm going to pin it now. And hello to everyone who's hopping on. It's so exciting. Great. Yeah, we have people tuning in. That's great. Fantastic. Well, let's Very dive exciting. right in. First of all, thank you so much for donating your time. I'm really, really to have you. I'm really, really happy to have you on board. We've, but we've been connected for a wee while now, and I've learned so much from you. And I can't wait for everyone here to get your wisdom, to get your advice, to get inspired, and go on and create amazing things after this life. So, thank you, Monica. Really. <laughs> You're, you're the sweetest. I'm so excited to be here. So thank you. Great, Sarah. Well, let's uh, jump right in. Tell us all about you. Okay, so I am right now, I am a business coach for women who just started their new service-based business. Um, I My journey started a while back after college. Um, I wanted to do something. I didn't want to do the traditional, you know, route where it's like, you go to college, get a corporate job, and then you move on. It was more of, I want to do something that's mine. And so mm -hmm. after college, I was really, I've always wanted to do service, but I was really debating what to do. And mm -hmm. so I ended up opening up an online store. Um, and I wanted to go through Amazon, like shipping through Amazon and everything. Mm -hmm. And I went through the whole process and I realized I love the actual process behind it, mm -hmm. building a brand, building a business. And so I just uh, dove right into it and I kind of, I can't remember how I got into the business coaching community, but I stumbled across it somehow and I absolutely loved it. I was like, people do this? Like, I want to do this so bad. So, and I had my experience from my store and so I loved doing it and now I am here. Um, I wrote my book when I first started my coaching business because I wanted to really help people um, to do that. But And now I just help people one-on-one, -on -one and I've been loving the journey so far. It's been so fun. So it's been oh, exciting. That's, that's amazing. So how long have you been in business? So from the very first stage of your entrepreneurial journey, how long has it been for you now? It has been about, I want to say, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. I started in I went August of 2017. That's when I really got my idea. Mm -hmm. And then I just got it really working up in December, got my store up in March, and then it went from there. So it's been about two and a half years that I've been doing this, if I'm doing my math correctly. <laughs> so, yes, it's been, it's been some time, but 
time goes by so fast when you're having it fun though so. really really does and it's funny how like you mentioned you started with one thing and then you moved on to another thing because that's exactly what happened with me <laughs> and I think it's because entrepreneurship is kind of addictive so like I, I honestly thought I was going to start my first business and then I'm just going to do it for the rest of my life. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. But then I moved on to another project and now I have a whole other business and I'm building up and my personal brand. So I started uh, with an actor's agency, then I moved into photography and then I moved into activewear <laughs> and now I'm building my personal that. brand and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> So and, but you know what? That's the beauty of it, though. Like, that's the beauty that you can like go through like different stages, and it's it's so fun. So enjoy the ride. That's <laughs> that I gotta say. <laughs> we have a quick comment here. We have a question. Where are you from? Where both of us are from? So I'm from Auckland, New Zealand. I'm originally from Russia, but I live in Auckland, New Zealand, and I moved here as a teenager. Okay, and I am, well, I'm living in the United States, um, I've been here, but my parents are originally from Egypt, so I have an Egyptian background. I didn't know background. that. <laughs> oh, no, I, yeah. A lot of people think I'm Persian, so that's, I get that a lot, Iranian, um, like Pakistani, but I'm actually Egyptian. Wow, you yeah. learn something new about each other every single day. Eh? There you go. <laughs> well, perfect, yeah. you've mentioned that you wrote a book, right? And I am absolutely fascinated by it because like, it's really, really hard. I can only imagine. I've never written a book myself. I have a freebie, but that's a, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> but writing a book is it's a huge process. Like from like when I talk to people, it's a very, very big, time consuming, very difficult process. There's no other way to call it really. So, but you wrote a book and we've connect, when we've connected, you were in the process of releasing it. Yeah. So, yes. um, can you please tell me a bit about your writing process and how it all went for you? Yeah. So I, so when I first got into coaching, I decided to like look into reading a book about it. You know, I really wanted to learn how to start a business. Mm -hmm. And even though I had my online store, it was different. So I want to, because service is completely different from product. So I was like, I want to learn. And I couldn't find something that really, it, like, made it easy for me. Like, I wanted someone to, like, you know, make it easy, no, like, business, like, jargon. I don't want all that. I want to learn. And so I was like, you know what? I couldn't really find anything. And so I was like, I would love to write a book about, and I saw someone who did, like, self-publishing through Amazon. And I was like, that is really cool. And so I like went and Googled it, checked it out. And it, like people actually do that. So I was like, you know mm. what? I really want to write. And so I actually, it was supposed to be a course before. So I mm. had it planned as a course. And then I saw the book and everything. So I was like, no, I'm going to do it as a book because I want it to be like a lower price point for people who just want to start. Like they don't have mm. to spend so much going in. It's just a very good um tool for them to use and so mm -hmm. it has all the tools that you need in there and so I just brain dumped everything organized it and I wrote a lot but I think writing for me was easier than editing um, that yeah. was that's more of a process for me just mm -hmm. because it was you know trying to, to figure out grammar and you're trying not to have mistakes and I mean my book is not too long it's like 130 something pages compared to like other books obviously mm -hmm. so but I can't even imagine with those like <laughs> editing for those I'm sure it takes so much time so it was but I loved it and I loved having like put like worksheets in it and just wanted to make it as fun as possible for someone who wants to that's, read it. That's amazing and I was like you said that your big your, your book is not too long but I think that's a very good length it's actually manageable for busy people, mm -hmm. you know? And if, yes. yeah, it's, it's, it's great because like, I always enjoy reading books that are like about around a hundred pages. Cause I can actually read it in a couple of, uh, in, in a couple of sittings, you know? Yeah. And exactly. I like, and that's exactly. yeah, I like the books that are like, there's no, like not much fluff when it's like to the point, you get the info and you go on and implement the strategy in your business. And that's what you did. And that's amazing. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Anna, I really like, I really like that um, you came from a place of service. You're just like, I want to make this book accessible. I want to help people. I want to help people get started because like when you're just starting out, finances are usually tight. Exactly. Yes. And I think I've, from what I've seen, you received like a lot of positive feedback on your book. And it helped a lot of people. So you should be very, very proud of yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no, it was honestly so, it was a blast. Um, I had a lot of fun through the whole journey and everything. So it's definitely something that I, I truly enjoyed doing. So alhamdulillah for that. It was good. Do you think you're going to write again? So actually, I do have uh, my, I have a sneak peek. If you check out the book, it lasts few pages of sneak peek for the second book so I have that going it should be I do have a projected for 2020 yeah so inshallah we'll see how that goes well that's very exciting that's very exciting I'm very very happy for you you definitely should you're such a good writer you definitely should write more <laughs> thank you thank you so much that's so sweet thank so um let's say um do do you have any tips for aspiring writers Maybe like me. <laughs> yes, you definitely should. You have a lot of experience and a lot of different backgrounds. I think you should do it. I I fully support that. Like I'm behind you on that. But I think the biggest thing is to really understand what you want to write about. Like brain dump everything first. Like don't let anything in. Just write at all the topics that you want to write mm-hmm. and then start organizing them. I think that was a big thing that really helped me. And then I also think that it would be good. I have them written down so that I, um, I don't want to forget, but I cannot stress enough how much editing is important. I know we've talked Mm -hmm. about it before, but editing is so important. Mm -hmm. Like have multiple editors look over it. You look over it yourself. I actually, I had Grammarly. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I use that. I used so just to ensure that everything is like good, and then going checking out what different types of um, publishing like services that you want to do. So, do you want to go through like self publishing, which is like all about you, or do you want to go like the traditional publishing route where you kind of have like an agent that's doing everything for you, and mm-hmm. you can kind of go into stores like Barnes and Nobles um, or like bookstores. Mm-hmm. Um, like nationwide things like that so um definitely but if you want to do it I think that anyone should do it like because everyone has a story and everyone has something that they can share and expertise like they should just do it if you're interested I think I saw someone say that they are an aspiring yes yes I, yeah yeah yes truly Zainab yes girl you do that Sure. She, uh, you should check out her account. She is, um, her captions are just like poetry almost. Like it's, she's, she's Aww. a really, really good, really good writer. And it's my se- it's second language. I really appreciate good piece of writing in English. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Fantastic. That's awesome. No, that's amazing. Uh, let's jump onto the next question that I have for you. So you've released a book successfully, mashallah, but you also re- released a lot of programs. You have, I don't, I don't, I lost count how many programs you have. So like, every time I go on your account, you're launching something and that just fascinates me. You're always doing things and... I just want to ask your advice on launching, on the actual process of launching. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, do, so launch- do you have a, a process that you follow? Is it the same for everything you launch or is it slightly different? Just walk us through it. Yeah. So, okay. So my launch process, they always evolve. Um, mm-hmm. I like to try new things, except for the things like, you know, if it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. For those things, I keep the same. But mostly, yeah. I love, uh, my number one thing is that I always love giving value first. So on my account, I try to always provide as much value and then sell. Because that's like the biggest thing. Like 80% value, 20% selling mm-hmm. is the perfect way. Because we are 
people buy from people. Yeah. People don't buy services. So mm -hmm. that's something to be really like really important to think about is that we we want to know from each other. We want to learn about each other. And that's another thing is being relatable. So I try to incorporate a lot of my life, a lot of things that I do behind the scenes, things like that. Um, even my smoothies that I'm trying to, I'm trying to recreate it. Hopefully I get it to work out. Uh, my Starbucks addiction, things like that. It really is a, uh, something to be relatable in. And so I try to keep that and, Especially during launch time, I'm just always showing up. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm usually trying to do that every day. But during launch, like my launch period, like that's on overdrive. Uh, yeah. Just so that um, people can see me more and to become more visible online. So that's, so, it, that's mostly how I have it. Oh, go ahead. Um, so uh, do you... What platforms do you utilize when you are in launch mode? Is it just like Instagram or what other pl platforms you appear on to kind of spread the word? So, yeah, so I'm actually just, I am on Facebook as well, but I'm mostly on Instagram. So Instagram is kind of my, <laughs> I love Instagram. Like that was, and actually to be honest with you, in the beginning when I first started, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do Instagram. Like, I think I'm just going to stick to Facebook. And, but then I like decided to just like create an account. And I was like, and I even created my account like later on in my business. And I was like, oh, I love this. Like, it's so fun. It's so different from Facebook, but definitely. And I love meeting everyone on here. So it's been so fun. Cause that's how we got to meet. Like, exactly. I, yeah. I think I met you through a, um, hashtag like Muslim entrepreneur or something like that I think that's wow. how I stumbled across you so it's like it's so crazy how that connected us I know so, right that that's why it's I so important that. to use hashtags on your content yes <laughs> because that's how people find you yeah I mean that's yeah that's how I found Veronica so it really that's how it is for sure yeah I've met so amazing so many amazing women on this platform from all over the world and the thing is we would never be able to meet if it wasn't for instagram so true so true such a great place to connect like that's actually the most like my most favorite thing about mm -hmm. instagram is the fact that it brings like-minded people together yeah. from all sure. over the world do you use facebook or anything i do or use you? facebook i'm trying to understand it <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it's <laughs> It's a bit of a struggle. It's so different from it Instagram. Is. And mostly, I think it's because the audience is so different. Yes. Exactly. So that's like, I'm trying to figure out how I can up my Facebook game. But it's yeah. just, you can only do so much. So yeah. I am kind of... I am business pages too. Yes. Yeah. And I, I found that it's very, very tough for business pages on Facebook if you don't do... If you try to grow organically. So... Yes. Very, they don't very, want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they try to make you pay for ads. So that's kind of so if you don't do that, your stuff gets really hidden underneath. So that, yeah. that's the tough part about Facebook. I'm trying. I'm a fighter. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you do it. But yeah, at the moment, my focus is on Instagram and youtube which brings me to video content and that which brings me to video, video content because um when i think about your personal brand and you when i pull, like hop on your account there's always a story and it's always packed with value like i watch through everything and i just like just from your account i learn something new every single day Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. So how amazing is that? <laughs> <laughs> and you appear on stories and you just come across so naturally, like you're absolutely natural. You're like really good at it. So I noticed that a lot of people who are trying to build their personal brand or they're trying to build their business, they really struggle with appearing on camera. Whether it's they don't really know what to talk about, how to sell or provide value without selling, if you know what I mean. Like that's what we've talked about earlier in the live. Or it's they just a little bit in their head and they're just a little bit shy. So do you have any tips for people who need to overcome their fear of being in front of the camera? Yeah, so I actually 
I've always been the person that loves the camera, and it's just because, like, even when I was younger, like, my sister used to record me doing cooking shows because I just loved the idea of doing it, (laughs) but I always think of the camera as, like, a friend or, like, try not to think of it as, like, once you start thinking, like, oh, my goodness, like, a lot of people are going to be watching this, and you start, like, freaking yourself out, but really just pretend that it's a friend. You're just talking to someone, and something that I, now, okay, I love video, but I would never post anything. That was my biggest thing, is that I, I can't post. Like, I can be taking, like, lots of vlogs at home, but I always see everyone has, like, their vlogs on YouTube, but I'm like, I can't do that yet. But now it's just like I started recording myself giving, like doing mini trainings or even a little bit about my life. And sometimes I would be like, oh, no, I'm not going to post this. But now I, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to post it. And once I started posting it and seeing the transformation that my business went through because of me showing up. Mm-hmm. absolutely it was a game changer it because before I was so nervous to show my face and now and I didn't get it much traction and once mm-hmm. I started showing my face it is because you become relatable you're a person they want to connect with you as a person so try to think so my tip is to really try to think of that person or your the video like as a friend you're talking to a friend and you're providing value that they need think about the value that they need from you and that you're going to give them instead of worrying about oh my god like my scarf isn't right or my hair is all messy or uh, my makeup's not done right you know like people when you're giving them value and when you're talking with them they're not focusing on those little details they're focusing on what you're telling them Um, and you might think to yourself oh my goodness I stuttered right here or um, did they hear me breathe weird or, you know, whatever it is, like we sit here in our heads, but it's so not like that. Like people don't even notice that stuff. Yeah. And so once you get past, like no one really focuses on the little things and you are here to provide value, yeah. it, it's a game changer for sure. So just do it. Just post it. Close your eyes, post, and I yeah. promise someone will will learn something from you. At least, even if it's just one person, like it's, if it's just one person, then that's fine. You did your job. You did your job well. (laughs) Oh yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. Like even, yeah, no, I, I love like having smaller communities where more people have more value than larger communities or like providing more value than larger communities where someone like doesn't see your stuff. Yeah. So, I think that it's so, even it's one person, uh, if they learn something, then you did an amazing job. I totally agree with you, Veronica. Yes, absolutely. Video content is very, very powerful. And since I've been going on stories since the very beginning, at the very beginning, I struggled a lot. I'd be so much in my head. I'll be like, what's this accent? What am I even sounding like? I'm not, I didn't sound like myself. Yes, since I started, I, I've said I, w- I was going um, on my stories since the very beginning, mm-hmm. but I really struggled. But as I just carried on, it got easier. And only like for the past hey. few months, I suddenly be like, okay, I feel absolutely comfortable and I can usually do my stories in one take, which is like, mm-hmm. wow. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, quite a journey. Sure. Everything, like, we look at people who. Um, you know, inspire us, people who we, you know, look up to, our role models on social media. I will we look at them and be like, oh, they're so comfortable. They look so comfortable in front of the camera and they speak so clearly and their, their message is always on point. But the reality is they've probably been doing it for a very long time. And they also started with like from the very beginning they were also probably very nervous and they didn't really know what to what they wanted to say or they were worried if it came across yes. clearly or not uh-huh. so it's easy for us to play the comparison game and be like oh yes. you know they're just like really really good at it but we don't really see how much work went into you know be- them becoming the version of themselves they are now yes for sure so, yeah Scroll back to mine. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be cringe, (laughs) but that's where you start. Like, that's the thing is that that's okay. Like, that's your journey. So 
and and you're gonna get value. No one's gonna worry about that. You're only gonna be comparing yourself to yourself. Like that's it. That's exactly. don't we compare yourself. That, exactly. We forget that people are so busy with their own lives. Yes. <laughs> to even I, care? Yeah. <laughs> you oh said that God. word correctly? <laughs> yeah, they're not going to be like, they're going to go throughout their whole day. They're like, wow, did you hear that word? Like, no one, really no one's going to do that. Like, just, you have value, you have things that you want to share. Go on there and share them. Like, that's that's the most important part. So, oh, thank you, Senna. So are you. My mom just joined. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my mom is watching my baby right now. <laughs> oh, she, <laughs> she's saying, "Oh, that's so cute, so cute." Mothers and their support. <laughs> I know they're they're amazing. So shout out to them for for real. So um, that's that's all very wonderful. What are, what's next for you? What is your next project? So actually right now I'm in the middle of like kind of rebranding. So I Ooh. I was very open to um, both um, product and service based businesses as long as they were just online. But now I'm really niching down to service based. So I, I'm kind of revamping and doing something exciting for beginning of 2020 with that. So I'm super excited for service-based businesses for sure. Um, also, my book, Inshallah, the second one, Nourishing Your Business, um, should be coming up. And so, yeah, um, just kind of niching down. There's a little bit of shifting, a few changes, but other than that, um, just keep growing keep learning and yeah oh, what about you I... and then... sorry oh i was gonna say what about you i'd love to know about oh. you too oh yeah well about me so yes i do want to grow my personal brand uh right now i am just providing value and that's what i love i love creating content i love creating video content this is something that i just like dove just the past you know, a couple of months, just a little bit over two months, and I've been loving it. I will always enjoy it. You're amazing at it. As a kid. And I went to film school as well, so might as well. <laughs> there you go. I will do something with that degree. <laughs> I mean, you're amazing at it, Michelle. I love watching your videos all the time, so you always provide uh -huh, so much value. And your videos, you. I'm like, I need you to edit for me. <laughs> <laughs> you, but I love you're amazing at it. So for sure. Thank you. So I'm just I'm just diving into that. Plus, I really need to grow and scale Fit Generation Apparel, which is my active wear and lifestyle brand. Will launch okay. just um, on the 28th of November. So very very new. And so we're just like once again we want to create a lot of video content for that. We want it to be more than a clothing brand. So we just want to provide value and create an impact hopefully, inshallah, through the clothing brand. Not just, you know, focusing on selling products. We don't want to mm -hmm. do that. So a lot of kind of things are brewing. <laughs> I love that right so now. much for you. I, I wish you all the best, really, inshallah. Uh, thank I you. Love same, your same, same, same goes to you, honestly. Oh, thank and you. yeah, that's, that's, and also you, you said that you're rebranding and like, and early in the life, we, we talked about how, like, what's the, the most beautiful thing about personal brand, you can pivot it whichever way you're going. You can take that brand with you. Yeah. You're not locked in. My cat so, is me. No, you don't. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, you're not. You're not. You're not locked in. You For can do sure. whatever you want, and absolutely. and that's wonderful because you evolve and your brand evolves with you, and that's absolutely amazing. That's why I think everyone, if you're an entrepreneur, besides having your physical business, you should also re even if you have a product based based business, you need to have your personal brand. Yes, because you can absolutely. just lead your audience into your business through your personality. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very very important. Like uh, uh, last live on last live, that's what we talked about with with Santa because she has a, uh, a product based business. Mm -hmm. So it's it is it is very important to be very much in it and have your personal brand in your business, whether it's product based or service based business. 
completely agree with you 100 percent it is it's so important like nowadays especially like so many businesses are going and you never really see like if you ever talk to an entrepreneur and you ask them about their journey you never most of the time they don't have the same business that they first started off with like now it's just like it's always just like they start something off and then they find something that they like and then being able to pivot is like the amazing part of and because we're we're so creative and we love this stuff we love coming up with new things we love change and we love doing it so i i think that's the amazing part of this journey i i'm just loving it so it's exciting it is it it really really is um, do you have any uh, last piece of advice before before we wrap up the show? Um, I well, let, yes, sorry, I'm gonna interrupt. Let's say for someone who really, really, I'm gonna like clarify the question a little bit. Let's say okay. for someone who just wants to really start a business, they don't know where to start. What would be your number one advice for them? To be honest, just go for it. Like, start googling. Go for it. See what idea, what is something that is in demand right now that you can do? And talk to people about it and just go for it. Um, like we talked about before, first one is never, isn't going to be perfect, but you learn so much so that your next one's going to be even better and better and better. Um, that's a lot of people, I always hear a lot of people that want to do and they're like, oh, I want to start a business, but I'm just, I'm going to do it later, not later, like start now, even if it's just little things. I, that is my number one advice and cause it's so, it's life changing. It really is. So start now, you know? Oh, and thanks mom. <laughs> she said we're both amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, for sure. I, um, that is my number one tip for them. Just go for it. It's going to be worth it at the end. It's going to be tough but it's going to be worth it because it's yours. Exactly. Yeah. You, you, you'll get to have, even if you started as a side hustle, yep. it just gives you, like my husband started his business as a side hustle, mm -hmm. and now he can go full time in it. And, you know, that's, awesome. that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And it is tough. It is, it is really tough at the very beginning. You know, it's just, you work so much. Right now, I work, like, crazy hours mm -hmm. with being a mom on top of it all. But Good when enough. you love the process, when you care about it so much, because it's your vision, it's your business, it's something that you said is yours 100%, you want to show up. And also, mm -hmm. coming from a place of service adds to that fire. You're thinking, I'm helping people. And then mm -hmm. when you get the feedback from your community, whether it's a simple Instagram story series, mm -hmm. it's never really one, is it? <laughs> <laughs> true, very true. <laughs> and then you get the feedback that you, that you help somebody. It's all worth it. It's all worth it to you very know true. let go of fear, show up just as yourself, imperfect, with your weird accent. <laughs> they love it. Like, we love that stuff. People love to know that, all that stuff. No, I completely agree. And I always go by, I'd rather work 80 hours a week for myself than to work 40 hours for someone else's. And, like, I don't even like it. And it's someone else's dream. Like, I love the idea. I don't mind working as much because I am showing up. I am doing it for myself, and I'm doing it to serve and help others, like you said. And, like, seriously, even when you see that little message or someone's like, thank you so much, you've helped, like, literally, I, I'm sensitive. So I cry, you know, like, I tear up. This is so beautiful. I, so, I just love helping people, and to be able to do this, and, like, even, not only in my community, but to reach out, and now I have, like, an online community, like, it really, really makes a difference, and I love that so much, so. It's so rewarding. It I really get you. Is. I'm also very, very sensitive. Wait till you see our Fit Generation Apparel vlog. 
at the end of the video like tear up a little oh. bit. <laughs> it's a little bit of a show. <laughs> oh, I have to see that. Oh my god. But no, that's cute because it's like your baby. Like you, you did this. I know. It's yours. And it's, I when you like get yourself out there mm -hmm. and you know you you see people responding to what you have to offer yeah. well it's it's very very touching it's very rewarding yeah. and it keeps you going for sure for sure we're here to well, serve I'm, and help so i love that yeah. i think now is a good time to ask if people have any questions for us before we wrap up hopefully yes. they do but if not this this interview uh, this episode of connect to inspire show will be available online for the next 24 hours so if you, if you tuned in late or you missed it make sure you watch it on replay because it's great jam-packed full of value and i am really really excited to you know have you on we'll have to collaborate again because yes. we're like we're so on the same page yes we really are like i'm so glad i met you i really am so this is amazing. me too me too i already learned so much from you and me just too. watching you grow and evolving and just showing up as you every single day and just being very like laser focused on your purpose that takes a lot of guts that that yeah. it really does not everyone can do that and like you said the work is hard but when you have that vision it becomes okay. possible yeah. and then you make impossible possible because that's what happens with entrepreneurship yeah for sure and i totally agree with you and uh, you've been doing so much too, mashallah. So I'm I'm proud of you too. I love seeing your journey. I love watching it, and so very inspiring. So thank you. Yeah, well, that's that's the that's the whole point of this show, so we can connect, and we can learn from each other, and we can inspire each other, and just because women are so smart women are clever oh, yeah. women are resilient and tough and it's just all we need to do is get out of our shell yes and go after what's you know always meant like it's always been meant for us yeah. we're already on our path we're already on our journey we just have to step into who we were always meant to be totally agree with you i totally agree i love this so I look forward to seeing your book release next year, inshallah, and see what you have in store for all of us with all of your programs. Thank Once you. again, mashallah, thank you so much for donating your time. I really appreciate it, and I'm sure many women will appreciate it as well. So thank you so much. Uh, thank looks you, like We don't have any questions, but guys, if you do have questions after watching this live, make sure you uh, DM me or DM Sarah. We are always happy to answer any questions you might have. And one last question, Sarah. How can people find you? So you can follow me on Instagram. So my, uh, you like, at is... We can leave it down here because it's just my last name and then my first name. So um, yeah. we'll go ahead and leave it I'll, here. Can, I'll leave it. Uh, you'll do it? Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm. you'll find me mostly on Instagram. You can try to find me on Facebook, but Instagram is where it's at. And also, um, I want to say thank you, Nura. Thank you. I'm trying to see. But thank you, everyone who commented and everyone that was watching with us. We really appreciate it. And yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said before, the episode will be available for the next 24 hours on replay. So make sure you check it out. Thank you so much, Sarah. I'm going to let you thank run you. away and go back to your work because you have yeah. a lot to do, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you too. It was so nice speaking with you. And We'll chat same, soon. same here. We'll talk soon. Thank <laughs> yes. you so much. And Thank I'll you. see you guys next week on another episode of Connected Spy Show.